This is a short video clip on how to use Microsoft PowerPoint program to make something very basic for your class to show through your media cart. So the first thing you need to do is open up Microsoft PowerPoint, wherever it might be on your computer. And I always start with a blank presentation. If you want to, there are many design templates already made for you, but I like to do blank. And then it gives you a new slide option. A lot of times if I'm just making slides to show in front of my classroom, I choose this second style here. Anywhere that is kind of a scribbly line is where text would appear. Anywhere where there's a photo or a picture, you could put in a picture. I like to keep my PowerPoints very simple, and I like to have a white background with black text because it seems to work well with our projectors and it's easy for all kids to see around the room. My PowerPoints I use with my class are not fancy by any means. Um, when kids make their own, they get kind of fancy, but mine are very basic. So I'm going to choose this type of slide and click OK. And it's as simple as changing um, your titles to whatever you want it to be. So let's do, oh, we'll do one on Thanksgiving since that's the holiday coming up. So I'm going to give this one Thanksgiving symbols. And down here what I'm going to do is just click and create words or phrases that relate to Thanksgiving symbols. This is also something you could pull up in front of your class and as your students were giving you ideas, you could just type them in and your thinking is saved right on this PowerPoint. But for now let's type in turkey, pilgrims, Native Americans, Plymouth, and mashed potatoes. Who knows what kids will come up with. Okay, So we have our first slide done. The second slide that you want to do, all you need to do is go up to insert, either new slide, which will let you pick your layout again, or you could insert a duplicate slide and it'll make the exact same slide you just made, but it'll make a new slide to copy it. But we're going to choose the same one again, and we're going to click to add a title. Um, let's do Thanksgiving Traditions. And here you could or click on change your text and then you could put whatever traditions families might have. Watch the Macy's Day Parade, watch football, eat turkey, share what you're thankful for, and so on. There's so many ideas you can use with Microsoft PowerPoint with kids. It can be anything from book questions to putting up math problems for the day, what I, another thing I like to do is bring in pictures off the internet, and then when you play this as a slideshow, the photos come in very large. I'll do a how-to video on that a little bit later. So let's do one more slide. This time I'm going to insert a duplicate slide so you can see what happens. And over here on the left is where you can kind of see your navigation and what you've already done. So you can see our first slide was Thanksgiving symbols, and our idea is there. Our second slide was Thanksgiving traditions, and here's our traditions. And we did a duplicate slide, so it says the exact same thing again. This time, though, I'm going to put this to Thanksgiving food. And if I want to change something, all I have to do is just highlight it, click delete, and start typing again. And once you have all your slides made, you can go back up to the first one, and then you can go to slideshow and view show, and your whole screen will pop up, and you can just click to go from one slide to another. When you're all done, you can click again. It says click to exit, and you can go back to editing. If you want your slides to do anything fancy between, and this is one of the things your kids will probably learn how to do very quickly, you can go up to Slideshow, and we want to do an animation. You can do a preset animation, which is something that the computers already have 
in here for you so we could choose camera so that when we go from one slide to another, so view show, what appears is the words appearing like a camera. You can go into custom animation and you can do things here. This takes a little bit of playing with, but you can do order and timing. So text two will go automatically on mouse click or on the mouse click, or you can have it automatically come in after six seconds. Okay? And it'll show you how that works. And we're going to click cancel. The custom animation is something that is fun, and the slide transition too is on here and this is to go from one slide to another and this one is you can pick different ways for the new slides to come in you can choose it to go slow or medium or fast I almost always use on mouse click if you want a PowerPoint to run so maybe you have a slideshow of pictures of your class working and you don't want to stand there and click you can choose automatically after Oh, 10 seconds. It'll go to the next slide. You can click apply to all if you want it to go to every slide, or you can apply it to just this one slide. Okay. The main things you're going to use in here to do a very basic PowerPoint are insert, new slide or duplicate slide, and your slideshow um, options, which are view show, your animations, and your slide transition. Your animations are what's going to appear on your slide, and your slide transitions are what goes from one slide to another. And that is just the very, very basics of using Microsoft PowerPoint.